trading view tutorial for beginners complete guide hey guys welcome in this video i'm gonna show you the complete guide on trading view if you are a complete beginner then this video is for you this tutorial will help you understand different options and tools we get on trading view for trading and much more so let's get into it so first of all, you can go to tradingview.com and you will land on this website right here. Tradingview is all in one platform that allows you to do trading. And as a beginner, it's a very user friendly platform. So to get started, you will have to click on this button right here, which says get started. And you can actually start for free and you'll be able to get your own account with your email address or you can use your Google account. It also has its pricing plan so if you're going with annually it will allow you to get a pro for 12.95 dollars and then we have pro for 24.95 dollars per month and premium for 49.95 dollars per month uh, so you can just create your account and it will take you to your dashboard so creating an account takes one minute because all you need to do is just sign in with your Google account. So after the initial sign up, it will take you to your dashboard. Now with TradingView, we get a lot of different options. It has its own market. It has its own products. We have community and more. So you click on these three lines and it will show you the products. Then we have markets right here, community, news, brokers. And if you click on more, you'll get the apps and TradingView and more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you to the products first. Click on the products and then we have charts, screeners, heat maps and economic calendar. Let's go to the chart plus. So chart plus will take us directly to the chart and here so I'll be able to get the insight to different stocks. Here we have a watch list. We can create our own watch list on trading view. So let's actually do that first and then I'll show you how to read a chart. Click on create a new watch list and then what you guys need to do is you're going to select your plan and then you will click on add and it will allow you to add a symbol. You can add different stocks in the watch list. We have futures, forex, crypto, indices, bonds and economy and this will also allow you to check that what are the different products available on trading view so we have all of them we have futures um, even crypto we have economy too so let's say i go to the stocks right here and i was actually looking to add let's say amazon to my watching list so i'm going to click on add to watch list and it will be added so it's very simple you just select we can add netflix as well uh, it's already added perfect uh, we have microsoft these are the different stocks that i keep interested in and i want to add them then we have futures as well so in futures again i can add them to my you know list we can go to crypto as well i also trade in crypto so we also have added btc and usdt so let's go with ethereum and usdt right here then we have solana and usdt and this will be added in the watch list so this is how you add uh, and create a watch list now this is my watch list right here and you'll be able to see I can import it. I can go with red last and we have 21 assets and products within my watch list. So I have opened it up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the one I want to check right now. So let's actually go with this crypto. Let's go with the crypto product that I selected. And here we have BTC and USC and we also have others. In futures we have gold and silver that I added. And then we have right here Apple in the stocks and I can check it out too. So once you select any of the different stocks or any of the product from here, it will show you the graph. So first you can select what kind of graph you want. So we have bar graph, we have candles, we have columns, lines, areas, uh, high, low and others. So this is a candle graph. Now this is a complete beginner's tutorial. That is why I'm actually showing you everything and very simple words. We can also add another simple for the comparison if you want to go with a uh, dual view then you can add more than one symbol uh, let's say i want to compare apple uh, with spx or any other so what i will do is i will add the symbol and it will allow me to compare so this is our chart right here now reading a chart is actually really easy uh, not that hard uh, what you can do is you can see 
right here we have our prices and you will be able to see the low and highs and then we have our uh, different tools here this is going to be like our cursor then we have trend line we have uh, replacements we have brush text and patrons long position icon mayor zoom in zoom out then we have magnet mode and others so you use these tools from here all of the tools are available and you'll be able to use them within your chart right here and uh, you can also go with auto or you can go with manual then we have log and then we have togo we have adjust and then you can scroll down a little bit and you'll be able to actually check your stock screeners and other things you can see we have pine editor strategy tester and trading panel now there are a lot of different options within trading view but when you will start using it and if you already know trading then it will become really easy for you and you'll get all of the different things right here within the trading view so i can also click on this plus button and get started like add a completely new symbol as well if i don't want to do like a dual comparison but change it so you can change it within your watch list or you can add a new one uh, we also have an advanced view so you can switch to the advanced view and it'll give you the advanced view for the watch list that you have uh, so this is a pie chart for the watch list that i created so this is a really important and i can check out all of these different indices stocks and futures separately as well i can open one of these and get all of the insights it's showing me the current price the percentage the ups and downs the lows and highs as well so this is a simple trading uh, chart, how we read it with the different products that we have. Now at this side of the screen, you'll be able to see some of the options that are available within TradingView. So we have watch list and detail. This is the one that we have opened up. Uh, then we have this alert. So alert will allow me to add different notifications and different, you know, alerts that we have within the market. Then we have data window. Now, so this is going to be the data window that will show me the open, high, low, close, change and volume. Uh, then we have uh, this right here, this fire symbol. It indicates the trends uh, going on within the exchanges and you'll be able to check them right here. Then we have this calendar that gives me the economic calendar and earnings calendar right here uh, then we have this right here which is my ideas this is for you personally minds this is for the uh to get an insight from different um, traders that are available then we have forex trading available as well there and we also have the message option so in message what happens is that you will be able to actually communicate with different people in real time um, then we have this one. This is the recent chat. This is for me, for my private chats that I'm doing. Then we have idea stream and then we have streams. So there are live shows for traders available within TradingView. So that is one of the features that make TradingView stand out. If you're looking for a platform, which is also a community, it's a community driven platform as well, where you will be able to join the community of traders. And if you were looking for a platform where you want to learn more about trading and everything, then you can definitely check out trading view. Uh, so these are the different tools and features, the main things that are available within trading view. And then we also have alert right here at the top replay and more Then we have settings and we have display. You can also uh, change your display anytime. Then we also have publish. You can expand your view and it will take you to the full window. For the purpose of the video, I'm going to stick to this one. So here we have our account again. I'm going to get back to the home and it will take me where I can now select the market and more. So let me actually show you the market really quickly. Uh, we have the market summary as I showed you within our trading view. We have Forex, Futures, Stock, Indices, Bonds, Cryptocurrency and World Economy. So uh, with this, uh, we will be able to get a market summary here. We have different currencies, bonds, uh, stock and it shows us the live prices it will show us the graphs and you'll be able to get an overview of what's happening within the market so now you can select whatever you trade in let's say i trade in stocks so i'm going to select this one and open up the marketplace and here we have our stocks so here are different settings for it we have gainers losers and more then we also have a breaker option available within trading view and you'll be able to actually communicate with brokers within your trading in products we also have screeners 
We also have heat maps, which has stock and crypto within the charts. We had uh, all of these. The screeners have stock and forex and crypto pairs, and then we have economic calendar. So yeah, guys, this is how you use a trading view. I hope that I was a big help, and now you understand how to use a trading view. It's a very good all-in-one platform for trading. Go ahead and check it out. I would also like to give you a disclaimer that this video was not a financial advice and I'm not a financial advisor. Uh, this is a beginner's tutorial for the platform trading view and I hope now you know all of the different features and tools available. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.